string in python a string string is a sequence of character sequence of character uh, you can uh, to create a string you can enclose a character in single quotes single quotes or or double quotes okay so for example suppose you want to uh, represent say here s is equal to python python and if you print here print yes you will get a string also you can instead of double quote you can use a single quote also say here python and if you print then uh, it it prints the entire uh, string so for example here s is equal to say python okay and if you print print s you will get python again instead of single quote you can use a double quote also python then you will get again python programming also you can use programming I mean, okay and if you print you will get python programming now you can convert the given string uh, given string into uppercase if you just write here s dot upper upper then it prints string with in uppercase letter okay so you can see here output is what python programming also if you want to print a lower in lower case so here if you write in python programming and if you use your lower case s dot lower it prints a string with lower case character say sorry clear want to clear here and if you run you can see here this uppercase string is converted to what lowercase python programming also you can uh, print say if you consider a string string here s is equal to s is equal to say python python and just p r o g okay and if you print print length l e n of s you will get here output is what output is equal to 11 so if you write here python p r o g python p r o g then how many characters are there one two 3 uh, h4 o5 n6 then space is 7 again 8 9 10 and 11 so total number of characters that is length of the given string length of the given string is equal to what uh, 11 uh, also uh, uh, indexing of uh, uh, indexing of string indexing of string of string like list the indexing of string also start from zero say it is python programming say it is main then the this is index zero this is one two three four five this is six okay seven eight and you can access uh, you can access a character from this uh, uh, string just if you print here print suppose this is the string yes okay and if you print here print say yes of uh, uh, five then it prints the character of uh, five so it is what n 
it it prints yarn if you use print print s8 then it prints r okay so if you write here say python programming ming and if you use your print s say s0 then it prints the first character quickly it prints first character you can see here it prints p if you use your s3 then it prints this is 0 1 1 2 and 3 so it prints h it prints what h character if you print here 8 then it prints r r okay so this is what indexing is what uh, it is for r and why you can access or you can print a character by just uh, printing its index number so uh, then next slicing again uh, you cannot uh, string is not uh, mutable string is not mutable that is string is not mutable that is it is immutable that is you cannot modify a string suppose you if you try to modify here say uh, s3 s3 is equal to say k k then and if you print yes it gives an error print yes so in the given uh, here if you write say s3 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 is what p uh, 0 1 2 3 h s3 is what h so if you write s3 h is equal to k and if you try to print print yes then we get an error now you can see here string object does not support atom assignment you cannot uh, modify a string so it is immutable next you can slice the string slicing 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 string string suppose s yes, uh, given string is given say python programming only prog and uh, if you want to slice uh, you can uh, slice by uh, by using start and here end okay again the starting index is included included and end index is what excluded from uh, okay from slicing so from indexing so here s is equal to s is equal to suppose if you start say s is equal to if you print print s is equal to say 2 to 6 then it prints this is 0 index 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so since it is excluded it prints from 2 to 5 2 to 5 character so 2 to 5 is what T H O N okay so it print T H O N so you can see here if you write here programming only and if you print here yes then you can print you will get entire string clear if you print you will get the entire string python programming uh, prog and if you print your slice say it is what slicing say uh, 2 to 6 2 to 6 you can check it is what t h o n so it prints last end is what La, uh, it start from the slicing is start from this uh, start index and it ends at using this index but again uh, this index is what excluded so 6 is excluded it prints up to only 5 so next if you use here print 2 to uh, if you if, if you don't give a starting index so it prints from uh, starting index to uh, up to 5 so it prints python 
so if you don't give the last index also uh, uh, end index and if you write here say uh, 3 so from 3 so it prints 3 is what it prints from h to g it gives output is what if you print print yes say 3 and end index is not given then it prints h o n uh, space h o n space p r o g so if you run you can check so it is what h o n p r o g so if you don't give the starting and end index it will print the total string python programming again if you just give your starting index is zero then it prints again entire string if you don't give your starting index and here a length of l e n length of string it make you or not length of s s it is what it is gives python programming length of s so length of s is what total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 total length is what 11 so since last index is excluded so it print up to 10 so it print up to g so now you can also use negative indexing also negative indexing if you print here uh, minus 1 then it prints the last uh, character of string you can see here it prints g if you use here minus 2 minus 2 then it prints the second last character that is o and so on you can use also negative indexing for slicing also slicing so negative indexing negative indexing so if you s is equal to say your python instead of programming i am writing here only p r o g and if you use your print print uh, s say minus 5 to minus 3 sorry minus 5 to minus 3 uh, or minus 3 to minus 2 again last uh, last index is what uh, excluded last index is excluded so this is what minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 so it print is what space then minus 4 and minus 3 so it only print space and pr space and pr you can check here if you write here minus what uh, minus 5 to 2 minus 5 to minus 2 it will print only pr but the, here is space here is what space if you use here minus 4 you can check it will print uh, sorry minus 4 not minus 6 you can check it is what n that is minus 6 is what this is n is minus 6 the indexing of n is minus 6 so it prints n pr if you don't give uh, end index for negative in uh, say here for negative indexing also you can see it will print n to pr og okay if you don't give here print end index say s say minus uh, 6 and n index is not given then it prints minus 6 to minus 1 that is from minus 6 to minus 1 and similarly if you don't give the end in uh, starting index and if you write here say minus 2 then it prints up to minus 2 minus 2 is, uh, but last index is excluded so it prints up to r it prints up to r if you use you can see here python space pr you can use uh, if you you can use step for uh, step also to print a string suppose a string is given step if say string is given s is equal to python python p for programming i am writing only pr OG. and say here if you print print yes from say 0 to uh, 0 to 8 and uh, which step is what 2 if you use here then this is 0 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव दिस इज स्पेस इज सिक्स सेवन एंड एट सिंस लास्ट इंडेक्स इज एक्सक्लूडेड सो इट प्रिंट्स अप टू सेवन बट स्टेप इज वॉट टू सो फर्स्ट इट प्रिंट पी देन स्कीप वाई देन टी देन स्कीप एच देन प्रिंट ओ देन स्कीप एन देन स्पेस स्पेस एंड देन प्रिंट पी इट यू यूज जीरो जीरो स्टार्टिंग इंडेक्स इज जीरो एंड इंडेक्स इज एट एंड विथ स्टेप इज टू then you can check it prints pto only it prints pto so next if you use your step or you can you, you can also and uh, negative indexing also you can use a step for negative indexing for the same example if you use your s is equal to print say s is equal to say uh, minus 8 to minus 8 i am uh, writing a new line so s is equal to s is equal to say python programming here this index is minus 1 minus 2 Minus three, minus four. This is space for minus five. Then this is minus six, minus seven, and so on. This is minus eight. T for minus nine. Y is again minus ten, and P for minus eleven. And if you use your uh, print, print yes. Say a uh, starting index x is minus eight. End index is uh, minus one, which step is minus two. Okay, so it's it prints from minus eight, minus eight to minus two since last index is excluded. But step is what minus two, so it prints h then n, then p, and then o h n p o. You can check here. Uh, say here minus eight. Minus eight two minus eight two um, minus one minus one with step is what minus two then it prints sorry step is equal to starting is what minus one Start index is minus one. End index is minus eight. Sorry, minus eight. With we can so G R O G R O. Uh, something. Sorry, G R O. That is uh, here indexing uh, here not minus eight. It from the start index is minus one. End index is minus eight, and it is minus two. So it start from minus one. That is print G. Then skip. Uh, up to minus seven, sorry, up to minus seven. So O N space P R O G. From this, it first print G, then uh, R O skip. So it is R, and then again P uh, skip, and then uh, it is what? It prints up to minus seven. So G then R uh, space G then R. space and then okay then o o it print here o so you can check here it is what g r o so now you can uh, you can use to reverse a string you can use here it not give the uh, there is no starting index no end index and if you use minus 1 it prints the reverse string So you can see here. You can check. It is what G O R P N O H T Y P. So it reverses the string. So no starting index, no end index, and it will uh, print the reverse of the string. One more time. So if you start here, say starting index is minus one, end index is minus eleven. Okay, minus eleven, and uh, say here step is what minus two. Minus two, 
so it's it prints g r o t so uh, it is what it start from minus 1 and then it prints minus g two step that is g then r then space okay then o then t okay and since last index is what excluded p is what excluded it prints only minus 10 so it gives only g r o t next uh, you can also reverse a string by user defined function so next is what travel string not uh, reverse a string next we are going to start traverse traverse string now to traverse a string suppose suppose we want to traverse a string suppose string is given and uh, we are going to define a function say define traverse say string yes we want to traverse this string yes then i equal to 0 while i is less than length of string then print print yes i so it prints the and i is equal to what i plus 1 so it it prints it traverses the string that is suppose s is given say python python then it prints p t single character at new line p y t h o n so if you define here uh, we are going to define a function for traverse a string so to clear so first s is equal to say input input enter string string and then we are going to use just traverse traverse yes now we are going to define this function here so now to define a function I am writing here define traverse traverse say yes okay now uh, set uh, starting uh, we write i equal to 0 and then by using while loop while i is less than length of yes length of yes print print yes i okay sorry print s i and then i is equal to i is equal to i plus 1 so if you run here run enter your string say python and, uh, s print ok sorry print so if you run one more time say python you can see here each character display on a new line this is what traversing a string you can traverse string by using for loop also so suppose s is the given string say s is the given string say python python you can use for uh, say x in yes print x print x so by using this simple uh, for loop you can traverse a given string say here okay suppose sorry suppose this is a given string s is equal to input your string and if you write for i in s or x in s if you just write print print i it will it again will traverse a string enter string say python you can check here you can uh, traverse a string by using for loop also now to reverse a string uh, we are going to define a uh, reverse a string for that you can first we know that we can merge a two string suppose s is equal to we know that s is equal to say uh, python 
and uh, say s1 and s2 is equal to say programming 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 then if you write here s1 plus s2 s1 sorry s1 plus s2 it prints python programming so here so s1 is equal to so s1 is equal to say python and s2 is equal to programming and if you write here print s1 plus s2 s2 uh, the, the string s2 is merged with string s1 so you can check here python programming so this logic we are going to use to reverse the given string suppose we want to reverse the given string so then uh, we are going to define a function say define uh, reverse the given string say yes okay now while let's take i is equal to 0 and while i is less than length of the given string okay uh, first we we are, uh, we are going to take one empty string say here ns is equal to one empty string okay and uh, then by using the ns is equal to sorry ns is equal to new string i plus ns okay that is uh, 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 here we merge each character to the new string ns and then finally uh, i is equal to want to increase i is equal to i plus one and if you print ns uh, it will display the reverse the string it will display the reverse string suppose here okay suppose s is equal to input and put enter string okay and sorry enter string and say uh, reverse uh, reverse yes we are going to define this function uh, we are going to write definition of this function here so define the reverse s okay then sorry reverse then okay then i is equal to take i is equal to zero first for indexing take one more string ns empty string say equal to empty string and then by using a while loop while i is less than length of string yes okay uh, new string ns is equal to ns plus i uh, sorry i plus ns not ns plus i it will if you write i ns plus i then it display the original string uh, ns say i plus ns and if we print here print ns then yes. clear if we write here enter string say here python okay i plus ns so ns is equal to empty string sorry for i in ns not while you can use while then write here s i s i s i instead of that you can use s i so now if you clear clear and if you write here again python sorry I plus NS Sorry. Okay, file I 
is less than length of ns instead of this uh, s i print ns okay so this again i am typing here python no okay here is the problem file mm, ms is equal to si plus ns or i am writing here for for i in ns i in s i in s ns is equal to i plus ns there is no need to define i now now you can see here it it prints the reverse string that is n o h t y p so if you take one more example here it's clear and if you run one more times python then it prints the reverse string g o r p n o h t y p so this way you can uh, reverse the given string now next uh, list and string next topic is what list and string uh, not list and string next uh, you can also search uh, a character in a string so say letter in a string say if it is given uh, say let oh, suppose s is equal to s is equal to python and if you uh, letter your letter is equal to say uh, t then it's if you want to print its index position then you can just uh, uh, then we are going to use here while loop uh, so while i is equal to zero while okay while well, i is less than length of s yes, then length of s yes, then if your l is equal to equal to s yes, i then print i print i and then increase i is equal to i plus 1 so this way you can print uh, the position of the given uh, letter in the string so if you write here say here again word say i am writing here word for input enter input enter string enter your string okay or word now next take letter say l letter is equal to input input enter letter letter and then by using the function say uh, search search say word and letter okay now we are going to define this function Define search 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 word letter letter. Now take i is equal to zero. Then print uh, sorry file while i is less than length of word word then if letter equal to equal to word i then your print 
the index of the given uh, letter print i and increase i is equal to what i is equal to i plus 1 so if you use here see here, uh, clear okay if you run say enter your python python programming p r o g and if you enter letter say o then it uh, o is present at this is 0 uh, y is 1 t is 2 h is 3 and o is what 4 so the o is present at 4 next 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 o is also present at o uh, 9 position also if you run one more times say letter uh, enter string say python and programming programming and if you write a letter say p then it present at 0 and 7 0 and 7 enter letter enter your letter i am writing now also if it is not found to uh, i am writing here count count is equal to 0 now uh, we are going to increase your counter count is equal to count c o u n t count plus 1 count plus 1 now if the given letter is not found then uh, in that case if count is equal to equal to 0 then display the message print uh, it is uh, given letter is what not found not present in the given string letter is not present say letter is not uh, present in the given string in the given say string okay so else if it is uh, now uh, here finally we are going to check if count is equal to 0 so up to here I am going to write is the error this count is equal to C O U C O U N T count is equal to count plus 1 now sorry to run this so enter a string suppose we enter a string say python and programming proj and if we enter letter say k k is not present letter is not present is not present sorry letter is not present in the given string letter is not present in the given string so next if we uh, run one more times and if we enter here python programming amiga, then and if you enter here yum then yum is present successively at 13 and 14 position so this way you can uh, print uh, index of the given letter okay so now next